Welcome to this locator's video on Manitou daily checks. Let's get started. Whilst there's no particular order that we have to check the fluids on the Manitou machine, it makes sense to start with the engine. So, motor engine, nice and simple to check. Dipstick here, oil filler here. We can move to the header tank on the radiator here. And whilst we're here, we can also check the cleanliness on the radiator and any damage. We can check the fan belt. We can check for leaks around any of the filters or any of the hoses. We can check the water trap. And whilst we're under the bonnet, although not the fluid, we can also check the air filter. The next set of fluids would be hydraulic and washer fluid. They're outside of the bonnet. Let's go and find those. The hydraulic tank is mounted behind the cab on the MT625 and the hydraulic sight gauge is located behind the cab quite low down and you wouldn't necessarily see it to the naked eye. You can see it underneath here. When you check this you need to make sure the machine is on level ground with the boom closed to ensure that you get a true reading and then what you're looking for is the oil level on the centre of the, of the dial itself. Moving forward to the last fluid that we need to check. It's washer fluid located in the mudguard under this little, uh, this little cover, unlocked by the key. After we finish the fluids, it's logical to check the tyres. The easiest thing to do is do a visual inspection all the way around the outside, also the inside to make sure there's no damage, no cuts, no bulges that will impair the working ability and stability of the tyre. Also, you need to check the pressure and very importantly, you need to check the tightness, the wheel nuts. You might ask, how do we check that the wheel nuts are tight? Well, Manitou provides you with a wheel brace. And on the MT625, it's just inside the cab here. After we've checked the tyres, it seems also logical that we check the working implements on the machine or the attachment. Most people just have standard forks. In this case, a floating fork carriage. What do we need to check? Well, obviously, we need to check that the forks are not damaged and not bent in good working order. So we need to check that the fork returning pins on the Manitou TFF are in good condition so that the forks can't move laterally. There's not much else to check other than if you're fitted with a hydro the optional hydraulic locking that the hoses and the tap are in good working order. Whilst we're walking around the machine checking the general condition, we can also grease all of the pins and bushes. This is extremely important mainly because it will prolong the life of the machine, prevent downtime, but also lower the total cost of ownership in the long run. You can find that information in the maintenance section of the operator's manual, generally located behind the seat. All Manitou machines imported into the UK come standard with road lights, flashing beacon, some with working lights, all need checking, even if you're not going out the road. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any questions, please refer to the operator's manual for the machine or contact us here at Locators.